This episode, we finished the Jura Valley and we're hitting off all the cultural landmarks on the way down the end too. Right, we've been here a week. It's Sunday today, I got off the boat last Sunday. And it seems like we've done loads in that time. The last few days we've made our way out the Juro Valley. There's, we've been a proper culture vulture actually. We've, we've, we've hit a load of sanctuaries, churches, castles, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. I mean it's been, uh, yeah, I've absorbed it all. It's been lovely. We had the UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Juro Valley. And then we just south of that is a little town called um, Lemengo. And they had, they had a beautiful like sanctuary. And I, I managed to stay in the van like within a stone's throw of it. I mean, that would never happen in the UK. It'd be, it's incomprehensible. But yeah, I stayed right in the grounds of the sanctuary. I thought, oh, it's too good to be true. So I stayed there. And then from there, we pushed down to a town called uh, Tomar. It's almost named after me. Well, not quite, but the Knights Templar have a castle there, which again, another world heritage site. And it's, a, yeah, one of the best castles I think I've ever seen beautiful place and from there we're now pushing south there's one more UNESCO World Heritage Site which we're just heading to now and then we'll probably find a black picture around this area and then it's probably a day or two before I get down to the coast it did get quite cold up in the sort of hills and the valleys around the Juro River I mean I, I one one morning I woke up with ice on my solar panels I was thinking bloody hell so I got my, my heater out, uh, it, you know, it did the job that needed for a night, it kept, kept me warm, and in the morning I used it as well. It was pretty fuel hungry. I used basically an entire cartridge on one night in one, one morning. And I've only got about, I think, six cartridges. So I only use it if it's pretty cold, but since I've dropped down out of there, it's been a bit warmer again. It's not been too bad. Last night I stayed out an incredible, like these purpose-built campsites and there's loads of camper vans and it's like a little village of camper vans in Tomar and it's you know they've all got the facilities to empty your toilet which I've not had to use yet amazingly just careful careful planning and holding tight I've been fine and you know fill your water up recycling etc everything like that and it's just been nice little communities every, literally every town that seems to have these little places for camper vans to go to it's 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 built for it it's brilliant so i think tonight i'm going to go back to a sort of more wild camp um on the river banks like i had i had what well, a really great one a few nights ago on this little village on, on the banks of this uh the river but for a wash i was I thought, for one moment i thought oh, i'll go for a swim in here after, after I jumped in after my run, I was like, bollocks am I swimming in that? It is freezing! But I had a little wash, a little wallow, and then got back out in the night. It was a beautiful little location though. And then in a few days, I think Goss is, Goss is down. So Goss is down in Pharaoh at the bottom. I hope we meet up with her for a bit of uh, biking because it's, it's getting to that time. It's now, this Sunday, I'm eight weeks till the London Marathon, 16 weeks till my Ironman, which basically means it's time, it's time. I need to up, really up the training. Um, biking and running, and let's see if I can put drops and swimming in as well. But especially the biking. So I'm gonna really try and up, up the volume. After I've completed the end two, it's gonna be less, less traveling, more training really. I might try and stay, if I find a really nice location, stay there a few days, get some big sessions in, and start to build that bike, bike strength back up which I'm going to need in 16 weeks and try and get the run volume up to I like to do a minimum 80k running when I'm, you know, for marathon I find my body just starts to really take off at 80k plus but try and a bit more than that and get myself a good nick for the, uh, for the upcoming races so that's the uh, update on what's been going on I've also 
realise this is probably the first time I've spoken English in like a good few days. I like, I've not really met anybody that speaks English or any English. Most of the camper vans are Portuguese. So yeah, I realise maybe it's quite novel. Anyway, that's what I'm up to. So yeah, catch you later. Let's go. 